Have you ever seen millions of butterflies flying at the same time? Well, this is because they are migrating to a warmer place. A lot of animals and birds migrate annually and cover thousands of miles each year. The basic purpose behind all migrations is either food or breeding. Climate change also plays a big role in these migrations. Get along with this video and see how different animals and birds migrate. A lot of them lost their precious lives in the process. But that's just a part of nature that has to be done to maintain the balance. If you are new here, hi, and welcome to Magna Fantasia. You will be going to get a lot of knowledge about wildlife. So hit the subscribe button and be a part of our journey. Sooty Tern Sooty Tern is a seabird in the family Laridae. It basically is a bird of tropical oceans. Sooty terns have black upper parts and white underparts. These birds' whole life is in the sky. To our shock, these birds can stay in the air for months. Their primary food is washed fish on the shores. Their migration process is just breeding. These birds have to get back to their birthplace. Sooty terns breed in the areas where they were once born. These birds breed on conical or rocky islands. These birds nest a hole or ground scrape. They only lay one egg, reportedly in the afternoon. These birds cannot float on water due to lack of oil in their feathers. Their average lifespan is 32 years. Baleen Whales Baleen whales migrate annually to warmer areas for breeding purposes and to the cold areas for feeding purposes. Warmer areas are good for their young offspring as it provides them basic warmth and necessities that they need. Because the colder water can bring a lot of danger to their young, while the colder Arctic or Antarctic oceans have more food resources than the warmer areas. So after breeding, they move to colder areas to reserve their energy resources. Baleen whales cover more 14,000 miles to distance in the migration process. That is a lot of distance, by the way. Climate change is badly disturbing their migration patterns. As the sea temperature increases rapidly, they are having various problems during breeding and feeding. Christmas Island Red Crabs You might have seen this scene on social media where thousands of crabs can be seen crossing the road. But do you know why there are so many crabs? This is because of their annual migration. The reason behind this migration is reproduction. As the rainy season began, female crabs migrated from the forest to the coast to breed. Female crabs lay eggs in the ocean so that male crabs can fertilize them. This scene is quite interesting to watch where you get to see a lot of crabs, but at the same time it is a very crucial time for them. A lot of them have to lose their life in this whole process, but I guess this is a natural phenomenon. They can't do much about it. Flamingo Who doesn't know about flamingos? The big giant pink birds. You can recognize them from a far distance. Interesting fact about them is that they stand on one leg only. They do have two legs, but the second leg is tucked under their body. That's their unique style of standing. Being omnivorous, flamingos feed on small insects, brine shrimps, and green-blue algae. These giant birds migrate from Africa to Tanzania between April and June. The basic purpose of migration is breeding. They go to the areas which are most likely abundant so that their young ones can grow peacefully. And after the breeding is done, flamingos move back to areas where they came from. Now you know a lot about flamingos. So, whenever you see one, don't get confused between either they have one single leg or their legs are so thin that they look like one. Take a moment and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget about the bell icon as it will help you to receive upcoming notifications from our channel. Fruit Bats Yes, it might be shocking news, but bats also migrate. You might have heard about the hibernation of bats. But interestingly, some bats do migrate for the purpose of fresh ripe fruits. These ripped fruits are important for them, and especially for the mothers, 
because it gives them much needed nutrition to their body. Interesting fact about these bats is that they eat fruits twice the size of their body weight. The sight of watching them flying is astonishing but spooky at the same time. It seems like a Dracula is awakening up from his long sleep and these bats are their guardians or something. That's just what came to my mind after seeing millions of bats flying in the sky. Do you agree with me or not? Just comment down your thoughts. Australian Pelican This is a large water bird and usually found on the coastal areas of New Zealand and Australia. This bird has a white body with black wings and a pink bill. They have the longest bill of all living birds. Their migration is not like other birds who migrate over oceans, but these migrate on land. As the monsoon season starts, they follow the routes where the water flow and food resources are higher and migrate there. The breeding process also starts where they find enough survival resources. When thousands of pelicans land, it becomes an astonishing sight to watch. Sea Turtles The migration journey of sea turtles is truly remarkable. They have incredible memories. How? You will know about it. The sea turtles have to migrate back to the beach where they were once born. No matter how far they are, they will cover all the distance to go back to their place for breeding purposes. These turtles do face a lot of challenges in their migration journey. They have to cover thousands of miles just to produce offspring. After birth, they have to find areas with sufficient availability of food. During summer and spring seasons, sea turtles migrate toward the north for food resources. While in colder season, they have to migrate back in a southward direction. Their migration journey can be more than 10,000 miles per year. Their migration usually begins at the time of hatching. This whole journey of sea turtles is no doubt astonishing. Caribou These are also known as reindeer, which is a wild species of deer. Caribou are native to the Arctic region of Greenland, North America, Northern Europe, Asia, and Alaska. These animals make one of the largest animal migrations on Earth. The reason behind their migration is seasonal or climate change and mainly food availability and predator avoidance. They find areas which have more food resources and less chances of getting attacked by predators and set there. They make sure that the area has enough food so their females get enough energy to produce their offspring. Interestingly, these mammals cover more than 800 miles of distance each year. Seeing those migrating is a marvelous sight you could have ever seen. The migration herds have more than 200,000 caribou. Sardine Sardine is a small fish which migrate to produce eggs in the cooler water. And after producing eggs, they migrate to the Indian Ocean. These fishes usually migrate in the form of large schools. These fishes not only draw the attention of various water predators, but also some birds flying on the ocean. Their migration is a crucial one, but their unity can stop predators from attacking them. But this does not always work. Some of them lost their lives on this journey too. Monarch Butterflies Seeing thousands of monarch butterflies migrating is truly a magnificent scene to watch. The whole scenario looks so magical that one could ever witness. Monarch butterflies have to migrate in colder seasons from North America to warmer regions of California and Mexico. The whole journey is more than 3,000 miles long. Interesting fact about their migration is that monarch butterflies that start the journey will never make it to the end. Because this migration is a generational phenomenon. The butterflies that started the journey produce offspring that continue the journey. So this is not a one generation migration. In fact, it is almost three to four generations that migrate to the warmer regions. Monarch butterflies from Australia and New Zealand don't migrate because of their warmer temperatures. Do you want to see monarch butterflies migrate? It will be a sight that you for sure have never seen before. 
Wildebeest. Their migration journey is one of the greatest journeys of all animals. Each year, millions of wildebeest migrate from southern Serengeti of Tanzania to Kenya. Their journey is filled with extremely dangerous paths. They also have to face a lot of horrible incidents on their way. Wildebeests have to cover some water canals and rivers as well, which is not ideal for them as many of them drowned and lost their life. Also, they have to face a lot of deadliest crocodiles that are waiting for them in the water. Getting attacked by crocodiles is like a game end for that individual and the rest of them have to move faster to save their precious life. Various predators also attack many of them. Interestingly, thousands of zebras and gazelles also join wildebeests in this journey. The reason behind this huge and risky migration is the availability of fresh grass and water resources. Here's the end of this video. Hope you like it. Share your thoughts about all these migrations in the comments.